Hi everyone, I'm Tim Cash. This is the IMDb Show, and this is Sarah Wayne Callies. Hi. <laughs> you can stop smiling now because I've just seen the pilot of Council of Dads, and I have a bone to pick with you. This show should come with a box of tissues. It should. It really should. Mm -hmm. It's an emotional roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Let me get right into this. What was it about this role, about this story that felt so perfect for you to take on? A couple of things. One, I feel like I put enough violence into the world to last a lifetime. Like I actually had a lay down arms moment at a certain point about six months before this pilot came along. And I sort of thought I will fight no more forever. I've, uh, it was one thing when we had a safer world and a safer president to right. explore bleakness and human depravity. I don't want that anymore. Number two, I needed- And of course, by the way, you're, you're talking about not just Prison Break, but The Walking Dead as well. Walking Dead, Colony, like all very, very violent shows, also very focused on family in their own way uh -huh. and shows I'm really proud of. But I wanted to tell a story that didn't come down to who's the strongest person in this fight. And I personally, I was like, I need, I need content that's gonna make me feel like we can do this. Like we can be good to each other. Like we can face down the bad parts of ourselves in order to be better to children. I need to feel like we can make it. Um, and so I want to tell that story. Uh, and, and I just lost Scott Wilson to leukemia. Um, and my father-in-law was dying of brain cancer. He passed away in between the pilot and the, the series. The, actually, the last thing I did with him is I crawled up in bed with him in, um, in his hospice room and I showed him the pilot. And so it, it hit uh, it hit a lot of personal notes that I really was looking for. He wants to ask a group of men to help raise the kids. If I died, there'd be this group of guys to help the kids if they need guidance. Council of Dads. Well, you gave it a name. Do you have jerseys and a secret handshake? I constantly feel for actors so much sympathy and empathy, especially in roles like this where you have to, I mean, your character, we see highs and lows in the pilot alone. The highest of highs and lowest of lows, and then all at the same time. Yeah. I feel sorry for you having to go through that. <laughs> we asked for it. Do you? It's the job. So where do you go in your headspace to tackle and to tap into a genuine emotion like that? You know, honestly, for this one, um, I flew by the seat of my pants more for this job than I have ever before because it was... What do you mean? I mean, I did less of the like, this is my technique preparation work because it was right here. It was so close to my life. There was a, a scene in a bathroom between uh, my character Robin and her husband Scott. Mm -hmm. And I have a big piece of news to tell him. There's a lot of emotion underpinning that news, but the, the point of the scene really is that I feel like a failure for not being able to save him. Um, and not being able to cure him. We got to the scene and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It wasn't there at all. Like I couldn't even fake it. And I saw the look on the director and the crew and the actor's faces just going, well, pilot doesn't work without this scene. I was like, I need a minute. And I went around the corner and uh, I started talking to Scott Wilson. And I was like, I can't do this because I feel like I couldn't save you. And I can't touch it. I just can't touch it. And Scott and I had a whole conversation, <laughs> him dead, me in that weird actor rabbit hole. Um, and the crew just sort of waited patiently. And I came around the corner and the director took one look at me and he went, uh, let's, let's roll. And they cross shot it, which was really smart. Um, and we were out of there in seven minutes. Wow. Sorry, love. I'm sorry that I didn't catch your cancer. <laughs> I cannot have you here without talking about The Walking Dead purely because I'm a diehard fan. Oh, I've cool. seen everything, right? Okay. What is one memory you have when I say The Walking Dead? Um, filming my very last scene, which was the character's last scene. Uh -huh. I'd been stuck to the floor. I came because of all the prosthetics and stuff. What a scene, by the way. Um, it was a lot. Uh, and my only concern in that scene was that Chandler be okay. Baby, I don't want you to be scared and he killed it, mm, bad Literally. choice of words. He, uh, he was an amazing actor. And I walked off of set and sitting right behind the, the set that we'd been shooting on was the entire cast. And they had all come on a day off, an hour from Atlanta, just to be there and just to like be supportive and show love. And nobody told me um, until the day was over. And it was, 
to work for a group of people who are willing to do that for one another is really beautiful. You're gonna be fine. You are gonna beat this world. I know you will. You are smart and you are strong and you are so brave. And I love you. We never actually see your body lying there. If That's what I hear. No, I don't. I mean, I don't watch the show. I never watch the show. But I, I have heard from fans that like. I'll tell you the truth. There, there's never a body. I was eaten from head to toe, apparently. He, but not I'm really. Delicious. Listen, first of all, a zombie can't consume the entire thing. There's always a little bit left. There was right. nothing left. They find the bullet. There's nothing left. Right. So like, where did you go? It's open for. They left it open on purpose. <laughs> I, I think if they did, it wasn't intentional. I really do. Like I. Uh, I do, there is no spoiler hidden anywhere in my heart, yeah. which is like, season 15, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's Laurie's time. But never say never. If you ever got the call, would you be willing to go back? And how would you like to make the return? If I ever got the call, yeah. the show would have jumped the shark so thoroughly. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It would be like, Gimple, Angela, I love you guys. It's time to hang up the zombies. Like, come on. Would you be down? I mean, look, I love those people. I love, but the, the only people I know involved right now are some of the writers and some of the directors and Norman. Like, everybody I know on that show is dead. I don't want you to worry. Your mom's not going anywhere, okay? Sarah, thank you so much for being here. Thanks it's been an absolute me. pleasure having you. Uh, thanks for all the insights and congratulations on the brand new show. You can see Sarah in Council of Dads on NBC. And in the meantime, for something that hopefully won't make you cry as much as her show, you can watch more interviews like this one over on imdb.com show.